junior, so I still have another year. But um, I was going to be, I already started visiting colleges last summer, but um, I had planned a bunch of college visits leading up, and in the summer I specifically filling out scholarships and everything and then I would had wanted to make my final decision uh, towards the beginning of my senior um for for me um like I said I, I got accepted into my first choice in New York um so uh I am trying to, you know, work as much as I can now. And then I've been trying to apply for scholarships, like every chance that I get. Um, like I'm working on uh, doing the TikTok video for y'all's, uh, for your contest actually. Yes, <laughs> um, amazing. Uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, uh, I don't, I, I'm not necessarily like, uh scared um just more so like hopeful that i that i can like you know save up as much money as possible like as there's a lot of colleges in the area already talking about starting the fall semester like online and i've told both my parents like if that happens i'm planning on taking either just a semester off or a whole gap year just to work because i i hate learning like this i'm struggling so much with all my online classes now and i just i really don't like it so if that's how we start the semester i'm definitely gonna take the first at least the fall off because it's it's a lot harder to learn like this wow I know I'm a junior, like Mariah said, and uh, thankfully I do have that year off so I can readjust, but uh, mm -hmm. I was really looking forward to being able to go to some colleges and check them out this summer, but most of them have canceled all of their, all of the trips, all of their uh, meetings, and I'm like, oh, okay, right. so now I have to wait and figure that out. Yeah. I feel like such a baby, I'm a sophomore, but... Um, yeah, um, I still got a few years to like look, but I've always been interested in like going to look at colleges since I was young. I've visited like so many that like I can't even keep count, but I still have a few years to like manage. But this whole pandemic is like kind of hard to learn online. I'm, I'm more of a face to face type person. I have to like have somebody motivate me to keep going. And with it being online and me by myself most of the time, I'm just kind of like going at my own speed and I like to be like in a routine and a schedule so it's a problem. I would say that I don't mind classroom learning but I don't like it when it comes to subjects like math like math has been so hard for me to grasp because I don't know, I feel like it's so much easier having my teacher there with me when I, I can go to him for questions and things like that. Mm -hmm. Because when we're like learning things um, for math now, it's like, I can't just, you know, go to his over to his desk and be like, hey, I don't get this. But like, we have to watch the tutorials, but sometimes like they might not explain things as well in that tutorial. And it's like, oh, you're kind of stuck. Um, so I guess that'd be my only like complaint with online learning, but I feel like other than that, I feel like it's been kind of easy. I feel like it's been more easy for me just because of the fact I'm a senior. So I feel like teachers have tried to make the work more easy for us because, you know, they know how much we worked for this and like they're just trying to take it easy on us. Um, so I feel like my opinion on online learning is a little bit biased, but that's my opinion on it. I definitely agree with like the making it easier. I've noticed a lot of my teachers have made the work easier than what it typically is. Really? Um, my biggest fear is definitely just AP testing. Like now we have to do it at home. I have all this stuff to do and I'm like, okay. <laughs> um, and it's typically something that I could like, I could train for like with my teacher. My teacher can help us and teach us like uh, prepare us better. But now I'm at home, I have to prepare myself for this test and um, it's even scarier that it's only two questions now, rather than the hundred that we were going to have. It gives you a lot slimmer chances of passing. Oh, yeah. 
worse. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I personally have learned nothing during this entire thing. They just keep assigning work that we've um, already gone over. So I haven't, I haven't learned anything. My AP test, I'm so nervous. I dropped one of them already because I know that I won't be ready for it. I absolutely despise online. I, I, I hate it. I need to be in class. In person. Ever. Like, never will I ever take another online class. Yeah. In class. <laughs> I agree with that completely because I'm just I'm face to face type learning like I said but I feel like me I have three um, AP classes as a sophomore so it's it's hard having all these AP tests and then they're talking about us having to do it at home so it's like it's like I mean I can communicate with my teachers but like only when they're available like some people have to work in the day and do their homework at night, which sometimes that's me. So whenever it's nighttime, I can't, you know, like communicate with them. But if we're in school, then I like wouldn't have that schedule of working anyway. So I just feel like it's better to have like a face-to-face like teacher with you. Like if you need help, you can instantly go to them. Like internet doesn't always explain stuff completely. And it's just always confusing. I can never just watch a tutorial, but whenever I have someone in front of me showing me step by step how it's done it's easier that way so Mm -hmm. seems like my school's done things a little different so we have to meet with every single one of our teachers every day at the typical class well they change their day a little bit it doesn't start until nine because they know people won't wake up but (laughs) we have to meet with all of our teachers every day and they're still like assigning work as they would if we were in class like i'm my anatomy class i've had to do multiple labs at home and like they look a little different like we were supposed to the week that this all went down we were supposed to like dissect a pig heart obviously we couldn't do that from home but we had to like watch a video of it and still do the whole lab and everything which Mm -hmm. takes all the fun out of it but um we've had a lot of work to do and we've had to meet with all of our teachers which has been helpful getting to talk to them every day but it's also difficult because i do have friends that are now working every day and it just makes it hard to for them to do their work and stuff